morning students in this class we will discuss about the binary operation table binary operation table or you can also say this as multiplication table this binary operation table also called as multiplication multiplication table we will discuss about this today in this class see if you consider s is any finite set and star is any binary operation of the set then we are going to define the operation table such that if yes this set given set is a finite containing the elements a1 a2 a3 and so on a n yeah objects are there in the set and star is the binary operation on this set yes say how we are going to construct this binary operation table say first count how many objects are there in the given finite set if there are n objects in the given finite set then we are going to construct a table of n plus 1 columns and n plus 1 rows such that here i am going to construct a table of n plus 1 rows this is one row this is second row this is the third row and so on this is the last it is the n plus 1 row and so on again n plus 1 column this is the first column this is the second column this is the third column and so on this is the n plus 1 column in this table this is the table containing n plus 1 rows and n plus 1 columns such that in this box we are going to insert the given operation what is that that operation is star and against this operation we are going to insert the elements of this given set that means here a1 a2 a3 right and so on lastly it is a n right these n there are n plus one star is one operation so the one column a1 a2 a3 and so on a n these are the n objects or elements of the table similarly again we are also going to insert these n objects a below this operation that are a1 a2 a3 and so on lastly it is a n in this way right insert the elements of the given set with the given operation after that whatever the definition of the given operation so calculate the elements means a1 star of a1 what is that if the star is addition if this star is addition then here the result of this box is a1 plus of a1 it is 2a1 the result of this box is a1 plus a2 it is a1 plus a2 the result of this one is a1 plus a3 this as a1 plus a3 the result of this one is a1 plus of a n right and similarly for this one a2 plus of a1 this value this value is a2 plus of a2 right this value is a2 plus of a3 and so on similarly these values an plus of a1 an plus of a2 an plus of 
a3 this one last way it is a n plus of a n in this way we are going to calculate all the values of this table this is a1 star of a1 this is a1 star of a2 right so and so on this as a1 star of a n this as a2 star of a1 a2 star of a2 a2 star of a3 right a2 star of a n and so on it is a3 star of a3 star of it is a3 star of a1 a3 star of this as a2 and so on last it is a3 star of a n and so on if you go on calculate last way this as a n star of a1 a n star of a1 a n star of a2 a n star of a2 a n star of a3 a n star of a3 and so on a n star of it is a n in this way so we are going to calculate all the values of this table from this table so next verify the laws of binary operation how you verify all the laws of the binary operation laws of the binary operation means closure law commutative law associative law identity law existence of existence of inverse these are the five laws how you verify all this see closure law is nothing but binary operation you are going to check whether the given operation on the given set it is said to be satisfied right closure law or not or if this operation on the given set is a binary or not or that so observe all the elements of this table right all the elements of this table the result of all the elements of this table are the elements of the given set right if all the elements of this table are the elements of the given set then you say that the given operation star is satisfied the closure law or this operation star is a binary operation right this operation star is a binary operation right when it is all the elements of this table are the elements of the given set if any one element of this table it is not in this given set then the given operation is not satisfied with closure law or you can also say that the given operation is not a binary operation next it is the commutative law commutative law for that the given operation star it is said to be commuted to here you observe that this is the principal diagonal right here we get the principal diagonal in this way right all the elements above this principal diagonal and all the elements below this principal diagonal are exactly same if all the elements above this principal diagonal and below this principal diagonal are exactly same then you can say that the given operation star satisfies the commutative law or the elements of this table are symmetric symmetric about the principal diagonal about the principal diagonal if it is a symmetric about the principal diagonal then we say that the given operation is a commutative binary operation next it is the associative law associative law associative law means from this table we cannot right say or we cannot conclude the associative law it is not obviously we cannot verify the series associative law so if you want to check whether the operation is associative or not for that we are going to use the same calculation as we are using the last examples so leave this one it is not valid here next one is 
it is the fourth operation in our laws it is the existence of identity existence of identity existence of identity means what is the identity here in this table with respect to the given binary operation see here in this one except this is star this is the one column second column third column and so on this will be end column Except this is star operation a row. This is the first row, second row, third row, and so on. This is the nth row. Right? Leave this one. Observe all the elements of the so row. This is the first element, a second element, third element, and so on. The nth element of the given set. So here, yeah, each element of this given set below column. Say any column right below these elements, it is the exactly duplicate of this first column. Any column below these elements, which is exactly duplicate of the first element or repeat of the first column, right? Then such a corresponding element or such a corresponding object is called as. The identity of the given binary operation. Right? See, for example, if here A1 it is the element, the column below this A1, this is the column below this A1. If this column and this first column is exactly same, then this element A1 is called as identity with respect to this given operation. Or otherwise, if it is not, suppose A3, if you observe, the column below this A3 is exactly same as this first column. Then you say that this A3 object is as the identity element. Or similar way, you can also calculate this identity element by using the rows. Here observe, here in this, right? A1, A2, A3, and so on, A n elements of the set. So the element A1 against or the element A2 against or A3 against, say, which element out of all these objects, it is the exactly duplicate of the first row. If the element A3 against this one row, it is exactly duplicate of the first row. Then this element A3 is called as identity element. Or the element A1 against this row, it is exactly duplicate of the first row. Then this element A1 is called as the identity element with respect to the binary operation. In this way, we are going to check the identity element or we are going to find the identity element for the so given binary operation. Next one it is. Fifth one, it is called as existence of inverse. Existence of inverse. For that, say, observe all the rows and all the columns. If all the rows of this table are containing the identity element, then each element is called as inward table. If any one row or any one column does not containing the identity element then such a corresponding element is not a inverse invertible right for example if this row containing the identity element then this element is invertible the inverse of this element suppose here it is the identity element Suppose the identity present here is the inverse of this element is A3 or suppose the identity present here the inverse of this element is A2 or suppose the identity here the inverse of A1 is A1 or suppose the identity here the inverse of A1 is A n in this way. If this row does not contain any identity element then this element A1 is not invertible it is not having any inverse. If it is said to be invertible, here this row 
or this column must contain in the identity element. Suppose you are going to check the inverse of this element A2 for that either this row or this column must contain in the identity element. A2, this right in this this element is said to be invertible here either this box if it is containing the identity element the inverse of this element is A3. If it is containing the identity element the inverse of A2 is AN. In this way we are going to calculate the inverse of each element. Inverse of each element means so the elements of right the each row or each column of this box if it is containing the identity element then we can say that the each element of that set is invertible. If any one row or any one column does not contain the identity element then the corresponding element it is not the invertible that has no inverse. In this way we are going to verify all the laws of the binary operation and we are going to construct the binary operation table or multiplication table. Okay. See, there is an example. See that example. See, consider the binary operation. Consider the binary operation. It is distance on the site on this set 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 defined as defined as a distension b is equal to the minimum of the values a comma b right the minimum of the values a comma b right the operation table of the operation. Say the operation is right. The operation table. The operation. Operation table. Operation table of the operation. Of the operation discharge. See. Here this operation it is at the point on the set. This set having the finite number of objects that are only 5. It is defined by A distinction B is equal to the minimum of these two numbers. If you compare the values of A and B, so out of A and B, if A is minimum, then the A distinction B is equal to A. If B is minimum out of this, then the A distinction B is equal to B. In this way, so the definition of this distance is given. So to construct the operation table, first observe the number of elements in the given set. How many objects are there in the given set? How many objects are there? There are five objects. One, two, three, four, five. If the set having five objects, then we are going to construct a table of five plus one rows and 5 plus 1 columns that is here here the table is solution this is the first row this is the second row this is the third row this is the fourth row right this is the fifth row and it is the sixth row this is the first column second column third column fourth column it is the fifth column, last week is the sixth column. In this way, construct the table. In this first box, insert the given operation. This is the distribution operation. After that, I finish this, right? Write all the elements of the set. One, two, three, four, five elements of the given set. In this column, again write the, all the elements of the given set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next, apply the definition. Here, A, B. A distance B is equal to minimum of A and B. Here, if you consider, this is the A. 
value this will be b value a disjunction b a disjunction b means here a disjunction b means a minimum of a and b one disjunction one that is a minimum of right minimum of one and one minimum of one and one disjunction one its result is minimum of one and one that is here one disjunction one is equal to minimum of one and one by applying this approach what are the minimum of this two here the same here one and one are the same therefore minimum is the common element one therefore its result is one next is one disjunction two that is one disjunction two is equal to it is minimum of one and two what is the minimum of one and two here one and two the minimum value is one therefore its value is one similarly this one is one disjunction three that is one disjunction three is equal to minimum of one and three what is the minimum of one and three it is one only minimum of one and four it is one minimum of one and five is again one in this way calculate the values of this case. next is here two disjunction one two disjunction one means the minimum of two and one what is the minimum value of two and one it is one two disjunction two right two distant disjunction two means the minimum of two and two is two only the minimum of three and two is it is two the minimum of two and four is two the minimum of two and five is two in this way calculate it similarly three distance one is minimum of three and one is one minimum of three and two is two minimum of three and three is three minimum of three and four is three minimum of three and five is it is three next is four minimum one is one four minimum two is two four minimum three is three four minimum four is four four minimum five is it is five so right the values of the name next five minimum one is one five minimum two is two five minimum three is three five minimum four is four five minimum value of five is it is five this is the operation Table. Right? This is the operation table here. This is the solution. Right? This is the solution here. That is, consider the binary operation. The solution on the set defined as A minimum B. Right? Write the operation table. This is the operation table using the operation. Okay. Next solution. Next example is consider consider the binary operation consider the binary operation star on this side one two three four five consider the binary operation star on this side one two three four five given by the following multiplication table given by the following following binary operation table for multiplication multiplication table given by the multiplication table right the multiplication table is it is the star 1 2 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 5. Insert the elements of the multiplication table are given as. 1 1 1 1 this is 1 2 1 2 1 1 2 1 2 1 1 1 3 1 1 
binary operation if the binary operation table it is symmetric above the principal diagonal then the so given operation is called as commutative what is the principal diagonal see see here the principal diagonal is also the principal diagonal right first draw the principal diagonal by using the suspension after drawing the principal diagonal observe each element above and below this principal diagonal are exactly same or not if they are exactly same then it is symmetric about the principal diagonal see the element above this principal diagonal it is one this is also one yes right this is the principal diagonal element the this element and this element this element and this element right is that same this element and this element this element and this right these two are same right if you exclude this one because it is the only principal diagonal this element right this is the element and so r is the same here right 5 and 5 right this 4 and 4 this 1 and 1 this 1 and 1 this 1 and 1 this 2 and 2 see over here all the elements above the principal diagonal and below this principal diagonal are exactly same therefore the commutative law is so we but is star is commutative yes star is so yes star is commutative star is commutative because because here the binary operation table here the binary operation table the binary operation table operation table is symmetric is symmetric about the about the principal diagonal about the principal diagonal okay principal diagonal so this is the commutative next it is third one it is commutative two star three star or four star five so first here two star of three it is star of it is four star five four star of five see two star three you get first And two star five get this next. Two star three. Two means first observe the element. Two first column element. Star three is the row element. Two star of three. The intersection of these two is again it is one. This is one star. This star three plus this four star five. This is the four star. This is the five. The intersection of these two it is again it is one. This is the one. Next it is one star one one star one is again it is one only it is again one only so this is the solution of this example. Next example is the operation next example here is. Let star dash be the binary operation. Be the binary operation. Be the binary operation on this side. On this side, one, two, three, four, five. On this side, one, two, three, four, five. Define bar. Define bar. Define bar. A star B equal to F C F highest common factor of A and B. Let's see about A and B. After that, is is operation is operation star dash same as the operation is operation star dash same as the operation as the Operation star is operation star dash same as the operation star d point in the above example. D point in the above example. Above example. D point in the above example. Just see for your answer. D point in the above example means so this operation star dash d point on the set by this definition. This 
operation on this set it is the same as this operation we find this operation is the operation is the operation star dash same as the operation star we find in the above example in this example above example means above discuss the example here in this example the star operation is on the set it is defined by the operation table right this operation star dash on this set it is same as the operation star on the set or it is the question this is the example discussed earlier so to check that one calculate the binary operation right table for this given dimension so after calculating binary operation table for this operation observe this table and the above given table if they are same then the given operations are same otherwise they are not same for that the given set having five elements then write the table of six right columns and six rows that is here solution here h star b is equal to a given as x c f of it is a and b right here on this set on this set is 1 2 3 it is 4 5 this is the given this is the given right here this is the operation star dash right this is the operation star dash 1 this is the 2 it is the 3 This is the four, six. Construct the construct the table here. Table. This is the operation star dash. One, two, three, four. It is five. One, two, three, four. This is five. After constructing the table, calculate the values. One star dash one. It is means one star dash one means it is the highest common factor of. One and one, highest common factor of one and one. The factors of one and one are one itself. Therefore, the common factor is one. Highest is also one. The highest common factor of one and one is one two three. Next it is one star dash of two. One star dash of two and is the nothing but highest common factor of one and. Say so get the common factors. Highest common factors. See here one and two is a big. Given terms, if the given is the factors of one are one, the factors of two are one and two. What is the common factor? Common factors are one. This is also, this term is having the factor one. This term having the factors two. Out of these factors, here the common factors of one and two are one. Therefore, it is the highest only. One is the highest only. Therefore, the highest common factor of one and one is one. Similarly, the one star dash of three, it is the highest common factor of one and three. Get the factors of one and three. The factor of one is one. The factor of three are one three. What is the common factor? For this we can get the common factor of one and three is one. This is the highest. This is also the highest common factor of one and four is one. One and five is one. Therefore, similar the highest common factor of one and two is it is. One the highest common factor of two and two, two star dash of two, right? Two star dash of two, the highest common factors of two and two. The get the common factors of two and two. One and two are the common factors. One and two are the common factors. There are two common factors. Out of two common factors, what is the highest? One is highest or two is highest? Two is highest. Therefore, the highest common factor of two and two is it is two. Next three and two and three highest common factors of two and three. So two factors of two are one and two factors of three are one and two one and three. Here the common factor is one. Two and three are not a common. Here common factors are one and one. This is the highest. Therefore this is the value is 
1. Therefore, highest common factors of 2 and 4. Get the factors of 2 and 4. 2 and 4. This is 1 and 2. This is 1, 2. It is 4. The factors of 4 are. Right? 4 is divisible by 1. 4 is divisible by 2. 4 is divisible by 4. Therefore, the common factors are 1, 2, 1, 2. What are the out of this? What are the highest? Highest common factor is it is the 2. Therefore, the 2 is the highest common factor. Similarly, 2 and 5. The common factors of 2 and 5. So, the factors of 2 are 1 and 2. 5 factors are 1 and 5. The common factor is 1. It is the highest. Next one it is 3 star 1. The highest common factor of 3 of 1 and highest common factor of 3 and 2 is 1. The highest common factor of 3 and 3 is 3. The highest common factor of 3 and 4 is 1. The highest common factor of 3 and 5 is also 1. Similarly, the highest common factor of 1 and 4 is 1. 4 and it is 2. It is 1. This is the highest common factor of 4 and 4 is 4. Again, it is highest common factor of 4 and 5 is again 1. Similarly, highest common factor of these are 1, 1. The highest common factor of 5 is 5. This is the so binary operation okay by using the this definition given operation star dash is the operation star dash a star dash b is equal to hcf of a and b so after calculating the binary operation table for this given operation this binary operation table is same as the earlier example binary operation table or not yes this is the given right this is the binary operation table of the last example above example right so observe this table and this table they are one and same yes they are one and same therefore they are one and same means here you can say that the operation star dash is same star dash is same as the operation star star dash is same as the operation so star so this completes the examples thank you